y'all what's up welcome back to my channel today I am going to be showing you my Sephora Rouge $100 gift certificate haul so first I'm going to go ahead and unbox and show you what I got and then I will talk about how I got the 2500 points and some tips and tricks for you if you are trying to save up enough points to get one of these $100 gift certificates. So if you're not familiar, Sephora has a rewards bazaar on their app and website and every Tuesday and Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific, they have new rewards that they put up and sometimes these are in limited quantities. They range anywhere from 100 points all the way up to ridiculous things like, I don't know, like 15,000 points to like go to a special like influencer event that type of stuff um, and if you are Sephora Rouge meaning if you have spent a thousand dollars during that calendar year or the previous calendar year then you are considered to be Rouge for the Rouge rewards they have a $100 gift certificate coupon that you can get in the rewards bazaar on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now there's a limited quantity and I have read that they were pretty hard to get so I wasn't really sure um, how difficult it would be or if it would take me multiple tries. But I did end up the very first time I tried to get one I did end up getting it. Now they do work like a coupon as opposed to an actual gift card or gift certificate. So the full $100 has to be used all at one time. You can use it in store or online. And another one of the criticisms that people have had online on message boards that I've seen is that if for some reason you need to return an item, you just lose out on it, even trying to exchange it. So I knew going into it that whatever I was going to get with the reward needed to be something that I was for sure going to keep and that I knew was already like the right shade for me. So this would not have been um, something that would be good to use to get like a new foundation or something that you might not like. So I pretty much knew exactly what I wanted to get for the biggest chunk of the reward. Um, I just had to figure out the little things. The reward I think I did not mention is 2,500 points plus it's only available to people who are Rouge. Now, um, if you're just VIB, VIB, as opposed to Beauty Insider, I should probably, for those of you that don't know, if you want to be a Beauty Insider, you sign up for that, it's free, you start earning points. After you spend a certain amount of money, you get VIB status, and then Rouge is a thousand dollars spent in a year. So, like, if you spend a thousand dollars between January and August, then you'll become a VIB Rouge for the rest of that year and the next year. And just like Ulta Platinum, you have to continue spending that same amount of money each year if you want to keep that status. So I am Rouge for this year, 2019, because of the money I spent in 2018. But if I want to continue to be Rouge in 2020, I would have to spend $1,000 this year, which is definitely not going to happen. So. I definitely wanted to make the most of my points. So this is the item that I knew that I was going to get. It is the Huda New Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Now you've probably seen these. If you like makeup, you've probably seen these. And it is gorgeous. I wasn't 100% sure that I 
wanted it when I first saw it online, but like so many other things, uh, as soon as I swatched it, I knew that I had to have it. I was very impressed with the matte shades. Actually, it's so funny, like I, the first time I went in to swatch it, I had like swatched it on my arm in Sephora and I went down a couple stores because my BFF Lucy works in another store right down from Sephora because I was going to show her the swatches that I still had on my arm and it turned out she was sick that day, but that's how excited I was about the shadows. I was like, oh my god, I have to show Lucy these. The Huda New Nudes palette is $65 retail, so I knew that was going to take up the biggest chunk of my $100 reward, but because you have to use it all at once, I knew I had to spend at least $100. So I'm going to put this back in so that I don't mess it up accidentally and show you the other things that I got. So, and again, it had to be something that I knew I was going to like and not want to return. So I chose the mini size of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More primer. I got a sample of this in, I think it was one of my Play by Sephora boxes and I love it. It is one of the best primers. Your pores really do disappear. So I knew that I was gonna want more of that when it ran out and I chose to get the smaller size because I still have a lot of other primers that I need to use. And um, it just seemed like a better idea to get a small one and use up all of the other like travel and sample size primers that I have before I buy another one of these. And this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. It is mattifying, and even though I tend to run more dry than oily, so I don't usually need things that are mattifying, I just really like that it makes the pores around my nose just like disappear, and it makes your skin look so smooth and perfect, which is definitely what you want, especially when you're taking pictures for Instagram. Not make this lighting work for me. There we go. And the last item, which is encased in a bag, I guess, in case it exploded or something, is the Origins Make a Difference rejuvenating hand treatment. Now this is the only item that I had never tried before and I was really taking a chance that um, it was gonna be a good product based on the fact that it had good reviews on Sephora's website. And also I know that I like the Origins brand. Um, there's only one Origins item that I've ever tried that I didn't like. So when I was looking for something that was going to be really hydrating for my hands, but also have some anti-aging properties, I decided to give this one a try. I was going to try to open it up and smell it, but apparently, I hope it doesn't have a, okay. Good thing it doesn't have a seal because this does not want to twist off. So this is the Rejuvenating Hand Treatment Clinically Proven Plant Complex helps hardworking hands recover from dramatic dehydration. And uh, I do not know that word, scutellaria extract. Helps even out skin tone and leaves elegant, silky, undetectable barrier on the hands. So I don't know if this one has an SPF. Some of them have an SPF, which is great. So that was the three items that I got with my $100 reward. And then I actually got, <laughs> this is so crazy, if you shop at Sephora.com, you know that this never happens. I actually got the two samples that I wanted and the special item. So there was a discount code for the Pat McGrath Labs Fetishize Mascara, which I have not even opened, but you can see it has that great classic Pat McGrath packaging and there's not like a, I was expecting it to be like a pull tab or something. I guess you have to cut it open. Ah. 
I'm gonna just cut it open. And of course, like this is just a deluxe sample, so it's not full of sequins or anything, but ooh, extreme black. So just a basic mascara, but I am excited to try that. And I'm excited that the samples that I wanted actually came. And I got the Algenist Allurionic Acid Collagen Sleeping Mask in the Pericone MD Cold Plasma Plus Neck and Chest. So just some skincare samples. So, that is my Rouge Reward haul. Leave a comment down below. Ugh. Leave a comment down below and tell me if you have gotten this reward and if you did, what did you buy with it? Um, a couple tips and tricks for getting points. This is very similar to my Ulta Platinum tips and tricks. So if you've watched that video, then you probably already know some of these. If you haven't watched that video, definitely go back and watch it. I'll link it at the end. Um, the very first thing is if you can, if you get along really well with somebody, don't let it like ruin your friendship. But if you can, share a rewards account. The only reason that I am Rouge this year is that my sister made some purchases at Sephora, um, about $300, $350 worth. So that was quite a bit to push me over into Rouge status. And she didn't care about the points, so it wasn't like a fight or a battle over her, you know, wanting those points for herself because she knew that she would never use them because she goes to Sephora like once a year or something. So if you can share the reward number um, with a friend or a sibling or a parent and you can both put points on it, obviously that's gonna add up a lot faster. Uh, the second thing that you really, really, really should do is to subscribe to the Sephora Play Box. I just happen to have one right here and with that, you get points on the $10 a month that it costs to get the box. And even if I haven't loved a box, I have always thought that it was absolutely more than $10 in value. The other thing that comes with the Play by Sephora box, and I just used my last one so I don't have an example, is on the little fold out thing that tells you what is inside the box and gives you more information about the products there is always a 50 point bonus so if you take that into sephora a couple times they've had it that you could use it on sephora.com but most of the time you have to go into the store make a purchase give them that extra 50 point coupon they scan the barcode and you get an extra 50 points. So that adds up really fast, 50 times 12, I don't know. Let's see what the calculator says. So that's 600 points in a year just from that. So that gets you well on the way toward um, that 2,500 points that you need, not even counting the fact that you get points on the $10 that the box costs too. So that's quite a bit of points in a year by itself. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you have the self-discipline to do it, one of the things that I like to do was buy one of the Sephora brand sleeping masks. I don't have one right in front of me, um, but I will put a picture up. Those are like $4, $5 a piece. So you can go in there and spend $4 plus tax and give them the 50 point coupon. And then you've gotten like 55 points right there. So that definitely pushed me toward that. The second thing is to always get the points. What really made it so that I could get it this year was that for the first time that I'm aware of, they were offering points for your birthday instead of the gift. Now, it is a common theme that, you know, pretty much everybody says that Sephora's free gifts with purchase, their rewards are kind of crappy. Um, so instead of getting, you know, like the mini Kat Von D um, eyeliner and lipstick, which you could absolutely get the exact same thing like in a Sephora Playbox one month for the birthday gift, get the points. 
and uh, they also offered a platinum, not platinum, a, sorry, Ulta, Sephora, Ulta, Sephora, a rouge bonus in points or a, um, like a makeup brush or I think a makeup bag. So for me, that was a no brainer. I got the Welcome Rouge Reward points as opposed to another makeup brush, which I don't need. So by always getting the points and saving them up and never, ever, ever spending them on the little rewards that usually, I mean, a lot of times it is exactly the same as a uh, coupon that you get from Ulta that says free gift if you buy anything in the store. So adding up those points definitely is a better value than getting the 100 point rewards for sure. Some of the 500 point rewards are okay, but it's still not the greatest value ever. So by saving up those points and getting that rouge status, I was able to get the $100 reward. And if you watched my last couple videos, it was a couple videos ago, I talked about how I finally canceled my Sephora Play box. And part of the reason that I did that was that I no longer needed to accumulate all of those points. So that is some tips and tricks on how to save up the 2,500 points that you need in order to get the $100 coupon and also what I got with mine. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.